Good morning, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. So today I decided that I would go to the grocery store and get some fresh uh, produce. Uh, I always prefer to use fresh produce over uh, canned or, or, you know, can up my own. And Mark also wanted a head of lettuce, so I picked up one of those for him. But today my project is uh, to... Um, <coughs> preserve broccoli and uh, the issue I have with broccoli is that I always buy these lovely heads of broccoli uh, stem cut because I can get them both ways a stem cut and stem on and uh, we use a little bit of it and the rest goes in the refrigerator and by the time that we go to use it the uh, florets have gone yellow and I have to throw it away so uh, that really annoys me to no end so today what I plan to do is um, cut up the florets um, into bite-sized pieces, blanch them, and freeze them. And yes, I probably could preserve them by um, dehydrating or other means, but today I'm literally, uh, the process is just to blanch and freeze. Now, it's pretty easy to take broccoli apart by just cutting off the stem bits and then separating the florets. So that's basically what I'm going to do is just get around to separating and cutting them up to the size that I want and then we'll take it from there. Okay, and you can uh, take these uh, down to just about whatever size you like. Um, you, you might want larger florets, and uh, I'm looking for something a little bit smaller. That's about the size I'm looking for right there. And uh, that can be used for just about any dish that I might be interested in making, whether uh, we want to uh, add it in a um, chicken with broccoli and white cream sauce with pasta, whatever, you know, or strictly as broccoli as a side dish, that's a nice manageable size. I, and if the floret head is too large, you can cut it in half or cut chunks off one piece so that you do get smaller ones, uh, like I'm doing there right now. You just separate the florets by splitting it. So that's always uh, fairly easy to do to get the size that you want. So, okay, and I also like to keep some of the so-called stem bits, you know, because they really are not stem bits. They, <laughs> the stem has been cut away, the, the hard woody stem, before I even purchased this um, broccoli. So these are just uh, the little bits of stem that is on a floret that is definitely edible, and it's actually quite tender and quite tasty. So even though I'm cutting them off to get the small floret size, I still like to keep the little stem bit and uh, use that as well. So right there, see, so I do like to slice them in half though, make sure that they are tender. And I could eat that raw. I really enjoy those pieces myself. And if Mark doesn't like them, he could remove them from the um, meal when he's putting it together. If he just wants the florets, he can separate that and use that only. So, Of course, the first stage is to get everything cut down to the size that you want, and uh, then we wash them. As well, we have to prepare a pot of boiling water because we do want to blanch these. Now we will be blanching them probably for about four minutes. I don't really want to cook these, but uh, in order to preserve the color, the flavor, the texture, um, and probably the nutrients as well, you do want to blanch them before you do anything to preserve them. So, and as I said, in this case, I will just be freezing them after the blanch. Um, we certainly could preserve them in other ways. I would not be terribly interested in canning broccoli. I don't think that that is um, a method that uh, would be beneficial for the product in the end. So I think freezing or dehydrating are the two methods that I'm familiar with right now. So that's the choices that I have. And I think I'm just going to go with freezing today. So... 
Okay, well, continuing along here, I just want to prepare one of them at a time and uh, put a pot of water on the stove and make sure it's boiled before I finish up. And here is the first one. So uh, that is going in the sink to wash it right now before I start on the second one. And uh, <laughs> it, it's uh, pretty easy to take these apart, as I said. So, And yes, I did have a, an issue with my uh, microphone for some reason. So I've had to do a voiceover on this whole thing. And I'm hopefully... Um, remembering everything that I wanted to say the first time around. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. But uh, yes, it uh, can be rather frustrating when you think you've got something and then the, the film goes wrong. But I do have, as I say, the opportunity to provide a voiceover. So anyway, here I'm cutting the second broccoli head. And I'm actually very pleased that I'm going through this process. I know it is a little bit of work up front, but uh, certainly saves the uh, cost of vegetable and today everything is so costly there's it's uh, it's a shame to throw half of it in the garbage because of the fact that you've done nothing to prepare okay well there's my first batch in the sink and as you can see it's being washed I think I am going to drain it at this point, but there is no point in spinning the water out because right now this batch is going to be going into the boiling water to be blanched. So it has been washed thoroughly. I like that. And uh, next stage, of course, blanch them all, wash the second batch, and uh, we'll do them one at a time. So Actually, I, hear, I believe I added the second batch right on top to wash it all at the same time. So make sure that it's all clean. The hot water was probably not boiling at this point. So I took the opportunity to make sure that all the broccoli was washed and clean. Okay, as you can see now, my water is boiling. So I'm prepared at this point to put half of the broccoli in this water. I'm going to do half of it at a time so that uh, uh, I don't cool that water down too quickly. And I'm going to uh, blanch this for about four minutes. And when that is done, then we'll get back to you. Also, what I've done right now is that I've prepared ice cold water in my um, vegetable spinner, in my salad spinner, so that when these come out of the boiling water, they will be dumped immediately into ice cold water to stop them from cooking. So you, you don't want to cook these things, you just want to blanch them to be able to preserve them properly. So, and I still want them firm. So. Uh, the ice water is ready and just waiting to, yeah, I guess my timer has gone off at this point and I'm pulling them out right now. And they look lovely. The, the color is vibrant. It's beautiful and they're still crunchy. I don't want soggy broccoli. Okay, now that the uh, broccoli is out, I'm adding uh, additional boiling water in that pot to bring the heat back up again uh, to make sure that it is good and hot before I put the second batch in. So, uh, meanwhile, the first batch is in ice water, very, very cold water, so it is uh, shocking, cooling down quickly so that it stops cooking. You don't want to cook the broccoli. The intention is just to um, blanch it so that it uh, is preserved nicely. Okay, <laughs> I have taken them both out of the boiling water and here I'm taking advantage of using my salad spinner to take out as much water out of these broccoli bits as I possibly can before I put them in the freezer. And I have prepared 
a tray with some parchment paper. And uh, as you can see there, I managed to get quite a bit more water, even though this was strained. I managed to get more water out of that using the salad spinner. So now the idea is just to lay things out as evenly as possible, um, loosely as possible, so that they freeze quickly. And uh, yeah, that looks beautiful. I, I really like the way that turned out. So just getting that ready, separating them all, and then they will go in the freezer and we will prepare a second batch. Now, when this is frozen, yeah, I just tasted it and they're still nice and crunchy. So when this is frozen, all I'm gonna do is put these in a freezer bag. No need to label their date because there's only two heads of broccoli here. It's not like there's a lot of it. And I should be able to use up two heads of broccoli within a reasonable amount of time that I don't really have to worry about how long it's in the freezer. So, um, second batch is out, ice water is ready. We're gonna do the same thing again. So just shock cooling it down so it stops cooking process. Again, I allowed the broccoli heads to sit in the ice cold water until the uh, temperature had come down, it was no longer hot. And then I did use my um, salad spinner to remove any excess water. Obviously, first I drained the large um, amount of water. And it's interesting how much more water you can get out uh, with a salad spinner. Well, considering you've got uh, florets there, it's no wonder they're gonna hold water. So laying it out on a second tray here now, I'm quite satisfied with this process and uh, there should be no waste, which is the benefit of what I'm doing. Yes, I understand it's a bit of work, and yes, I understand I could probably buy frozen broccoli already and not have to go through this process, but I'd much prefer to buy my vegetables fresh and uh, process them myself. So I'm quite happy with this. Okay, so this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed spending a little bit of time with me today. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. And yes, I think I've got more vegetables to do. I've got some carrots that I would like to process. I haven't been uh, very adept at cutting them into little tiny um, chunks the way I wanted. I've tested one and I wasn't happy with the process. So I've got to figure out how to do that a little bit better. Anyway, we will... Talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.